May I have my slides, please? Okay. Uh, the case I'm going to talk about is about a young woman, 29 years old, uh, contract uh, lens wearer, uh, an agricultural trauma in January uh, 2017, uh, and recurrent red eye, foreign body sensation, uh, blurry vision uh, that uh, wasn't unresolved uh, with uh, several uh, treatments that uh, have been prescribed by other doctors. Uh, so in June 2017, uh, when she presented it to us, uh, uh, we see uh, uh, these uh, stromal haze diffuse uh, and so uh, reducing uh, division acuity uh, considerably and then her uh, uh, lip purpose was also present uh, so my first question you you can uh, begin answering to is uh, what is the uh, your diagnosis so is it a recurrent uh, erosion syndrome is it hs hcv keratitis fungal keratitis or acantamoeba keratitis let's have the answers Acantamoeba keratitis. So it isn't a typical picture, but this is what we opted for as well. So we initiated the local treatment with a lot of prenodonol twice a day, cyclovir 800 milligrams at the beginning and then tapering down to one tablet a day. And in a few days, the patient showed a clear improvement of symptoms. So although this treatment has been maintained as a prophylaxis for a long period, after some time, the patient presented again to us with the redness and foreign body sensation. You may see here a small ulcer also. So we added uh, local again cyclovir, and the patient after a few days uh, was doing much better. But after one month, uh, in October, she came back uh, for uh, a haze and this immune ring. Can this uh, be, uh, uh, this can be consistent uh, with uh, herpetic keratitis. Uh, but uh, he made us uh, think that uh, probably our uh, uh, diagnosis wasn't uh, correct because uh, normally the herpes uh, responds quite quite well uh, to the treatment that we administered her. Uh, so we decided to go for a corneal uh, scraping. Uh, this is the first uh, day after the scraping procedure. So uh, uh, the patient uh, showed uh, this severe inflammation, intolerable pain, and intense photophobia. At this point, uh, uh, according to you, what could uh, the diagnosis be? And uh, it might be bacterial keratitis, uh, or uh, herpetic keratitis, uh, fungal keratitis, or acantamoeba keratitis. Let me tell you from the beginning that uh, the culture and the PCR were both negative. So let's have the answers. OK, acantamoeba uh, keratitis. So, so despite the negative uh, culture, it was actually our assumption. So after a shock uh, therapy, uh, we uh, succeeded in having a stable picture of the uh, symptoms and the clinical signs by means of this uh, maintenance uh, uh, treatment, as you may see here on the slide. PHMB, propamidine, DEXA, uh, plus uh, TOBRA, uh, PF, artificial tears, BCL, oral acyclovir, 800 uh, uh, milligrams plus one uh, maintenance or coverage uh, uh, tablet. So see what happens. Uh, uh, Neurotrophic keratopathy developed and the cornea started thinning. After one month, this is on the 23rd of December, she came to us with an extremely thinned cornea. And let me remind you that the treatment was the minimum that allows us to keep symptoms under control. If even one of these drugs is tapered down, photophobia and redness would come back. So I ask you, what to do in such a case? A, cross-linking, B, dog, C, P, K, D, wait and see. We then uh, will ask our cross-linking experts what they think about it. Okay, but let's uh, have the audience uh, first uh, answer. Okay, so 
uh, wait and see. So apparently most of you agree on the fact that an OPK should be performed. Uh, so but we opted for a dog uh, because the uh, cornea was uh, getting uh, thinner and thinner. So there was a, a risk uh, of erosion and ophthalmitis uh, even. Uh, so yeah, it was a recurrent. So sooner or later she would have needed uh, a transplant. Uh, so we, we decided uh, to be as aggressive as possible with an anterior uh, keratoplasty, a lamellar one. So you see here the day of the surgery. There was a, a lot of edema at the beginning because uh, there was an epithelium and there is a lot of edema both in the donor and the recipient. Uh, luckily, the PCR this time was uh, positive for acantomib and the histology confirmed that, that our surgery was radical with free borders. So we started removing, uh, discontinuing anti-amoeba uh, drugs. So the epithelial defect closed and uh, the edema disappeared. And this is the patient actually, the surgery was very deep. So once the edema disappeared, you can see that the residual bed is only 84 migrants and with a lot of print and uh, a cycle view, the uh, patient uh, is uh, doing uh, very well. Of course, uh, we should manage uh, stigmatism, uh, removing uh, uh, the uh, points or the sutures, but uh, however, no recurrence. So uh, um, I would like to know, uh, uh, to uh, remind you and uh, take this opportunity to remind you that uh, Cantamoeba has uh, as an initial uh, feature uh, to present with this uh, uh, diffuse stromal haze as an early stage. At an early stage, not all patients uh, have uh, at the beginning the typical uh, pain and photophobia that uh, we know uh, are the typical signs. And the co-infection uh, with herpes uh, with uh, uh, Cantamoeba is possible. So both diagnoses can uh, go hand in hand. One does and uh, rule out the other, in other words, very well. Uh, these three cases are extremely interesting. So